Welcome to Celebrity Act Two, where John Cole and I get to speak with Bill Jordan, our favorite boomer. Hey, Bill, good to see you. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having now, me back. I, I noticed that um, you are in a room with the, uh, at least what we can see behind here, nothing on the wall. I am in a room, <laughs> and Art is in a room with our in our offices with our memorabilia behind me. I've got pictures and posters and and stuff. And in front of me, I've got a little uh, window box uh, frame with all pins. Remember, you used to get pins yeah. from all kinds yeah. of crap. Yeah. I got a box full of pins. I had, didn't know what to do with them. I put them in a in a, a, sh a showcase kind of thing. Do you save anything like that? Well, quite honestly, I'm up in our bonus room. We've lived here for, I think, 25 years all around me. I've got uh, framed uh, maps, uh, like battle map from uh, World War II. My dad was where his units were. The actual wow. map, not like reprints. And I've got pictures down here of my great uncles and family stuff and frame stuff. We just don't have it on the wall. It's only been 25 years. We're not sure where we want to put them. So uh, <laughs> that's why there's nothing behind me. We can understand, you know, that it would take you that long to figure it out. But look how long you used to keep a hat. You know, before. well, hey, this is this is one of my favorite ones right now. So, uh, um, you know, I I um, I've got a thing. This is a whole other podcast for us. But I've got a thing about I I feel very inept at uh, handy dandy handyman things. So the idea of poking holes in walls and being wrong, you know, as to where it goes. Yeah. And then now I got a hole there that, yeah, I know how to fix it, but then I got to paint it. And then I got, you know, it's yeah. like, I just rather, you know, lean it against the wall and then kind of walk by and look <laughs> at it. So, uh, but yeah, do I have stuff like that also in here? Um, I got a pool table. That's really nice. I got stuff on it right now. Of course, that's what you do with a pool table. It's kind of like a, kind of like a yep. treadmill. It, it it's ends up table. being another, it's a table, uh, yeah. but under it, that's where I've got other things stored. I was going to share this with you guys. And speaking to my dad, I mean, about this battle map from World War II. He got me started because he did it, and I've kept his, what he had started, historic wow. newspapers. This is John Glenn orbiting. This is not even like going into space, I don't think. He just did three orbits around the Earth, and this newspaper is from Newport News, Virginia, the Times-Herald, which was the afternoon paper then, from... Uh, Tuesday, February 20th, 1962. The paper cost five cents. A week subscription was 30 cents. Wow. But I've got this. And then the, the Glenn thing, I've got the original. And then remember when he went back up? Yeah. He went back up. So I've got them in tandem. So, uh, gosh, what was the date on this one? This was 50 cents, USA Today. This was the weekend <laughs> of October 30th of 1998. This is the big one that I've got that, that he kept, that I have kept. And this is the assassination of JFK. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's yeah. this stuff that I, it's just there. I don't have it in shadow boxes. I don't, I've just got it in like this massive kind of a Ziploc just to keep air from getting to it, to break it down. It's right. still in pretty good, pretty good shape. It's interesting to go through it and see what the prices of things were, you know, yep. refrigerators and cars and stuff. Uh, yeah. I, I keep it, but I, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, but I think it's a hobby or a collection that my dad got me into. He was into history. I'm into history. So if anything huge were to happen now, um, I would probably go out and get a USA Today and, and save it. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know. Give it to a museum, pass it down to my daughter for her to go, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't, I don't know. How fast yeah. do you think? How fast do you think that that would go? Uh, if let's say your your uh, daughter was going through your stuff for that to go right into the into the trash. Now I don't mean that it's not Bro, it I, have no, value I, to you. I'll give you an example um, uh, because I remember collecting newspapers. The Kennedy assassination was certainly one of them. Uh, my uh, oldest daughter was born about a week before uh, the landing on the moon. So we had a, a newspaper with that, and and uh, but unless you preserve them and put them into a frame of some kind, then they begin to get kind of tattered because yeah, they just yeah. Uh, although it looks like uh, it looks like the USA Today would would survive a nuclear blast, and I always had questions about uh, USA Today, uh, and I think you've answered some of them. They they look fresh as the day 
do a bullet so you could probably still eat it. <laughs> well, I mean, you're giving me pause. I mean, if I were to, I mean, it's a total sentimental thing for me because my yeah. dad got me started and it's papers that he saved. So it is a sentimental thing. And, and that's where we can get into some trouble is keeping sentimental stuff. So, I mean, if I were to jettison this stuff, you know, in a week, I'd probably forget it down the road. I'd remember that I had done that. But I'd be interested as, as if uh, with the viewers of, of this uh, this podcast, what do you do with the older stuff and sentimental stuff? Right. Yeah. You just chuck it, you know, because right. I'm because I'm I really am trying to adopt the minimalism thing. Well, why don't, um, we, why don't we why don't we get why don't we get, see if we can do a, a bit of an intervention here? Uh, so I've got two things for you to think about. Number one, with your cell phone, you can take a picture of them. And of course, if you just throw it into a junk drawer on your computer of images, then it'll be lost forever. You may find it from time to time. Create a separate but if you, file. Right. But if you may organize them of newspaper headlines, and then you could have, and then what we did, we have a, a little a toy horse that I got for my one year birthday. And every child in the family that's been born, our kids, our grandkids have a picture of them on this horse at the age of one. And I kept collecting them and then finally put them into a, an arrangement. And then I can print out every time a new uh, grandchild is born. And every time, uh, hopefully, we get uh, grand great grandchildren, we'll add one to it and then make a new display and put it in a frame. So those are the kind of things. And also, intervention number two, and John, you can help us out on this one, is that don't worry about the holes making the wall. Because as you get new pictures, you move them over and just, sure, you have Go something the covering the old hole. <laughs> and so if we... If we take uh, all the pictures off the wall behind me, actually, I have pictures on all uh, four walls, including one with the the uh, window in front of me. There are spaces on both sides. We don't have much space in my house. I'll have. give you that. I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking the pictures thing. I, I, I admit that because it's not only the wall, the holes, but it's like, yeah, but how do you put them up there? You don't want all the same. So it's kind of like. Man, we're getting all all kinds of things. It's like me helping my wife with the Christmas tree, but you put the red ornament near the other red ornament, and it's like it's like you know, and then that's the way it's going to be with the pictures on the wall. So, oh, come on, get over it, get over me, it. You know, I, I, I need some slack. Uh, it's Moonsh only been twenty five years. Moonstruck. I, I think, think I think I'm from uh, what was the name of Cher. Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, the good question, but as you're watching this, make sure you like and comment on the video, but comment on what you've done with sentimental things that really, yeah. they're just taking up space. I would really like to know what the viewers think and maybe help not just me, but you know, somebody else may be helped by this. So that's you know, why we're here. And, and we're here to help. Bill, I think everybody does it. Everybody has something sentimental, whether it's from their childhood or their parents or whatever it is. Everybody's got something that they just can't throw out. And the, and the, you brought up the great question, what do we do with it? Why why are we saving it? What do we do with it? Well, we know yeah. why we're saving it because it means something to us. Yeah, yeah. And the problem yeah. is, of course, when your wife or your spouse or some or your children are cleaning up and they say, what is this old piece of crap? Yeah. What did they, yeah. you know. That's so, it, that's it. Yeah. Worthy the question, I think. But until, until such time, relax. Get a cup of coffee or cocoa or whatever turns you on and embrace the boom. That's it. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom, my fellow baby boomers. Thanks have, for having have, me back on, guys. Have fun. See you soon, Bill. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.